Yo, 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 we back once again for the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine, we here for episode 32. Do what up, my G? Oh, we making it better. We make it better every single every, day. Every day. But before we get started, man, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel right now. now. Like and comment. Let us know what y'all think about the show. Okay. We doing it for y'all guys. For y'all. But when you hit that notification button, make sure you hit all. So when me and Wolf drop this hot content, you be the first ones Definitely to get the first it. <laughs> all right, y'all. On to hip hop news, man. Yesterday in Double X Magazine, it revealed that Romeo Miller, Master P, son, is finally a millionaire. After all of these years, you know, he's invested in Afro Tech Company, <laughs> which is a loan financial company. You know, he's trying to help the community out to get affordable loans at a 2% rate. Financial company. You know, but um, it took the guy a long time, and Master P said, he wasn't gonna help him. He was gonna put him out there and let him do this on his own. You know, but well, what do you think about Master P <laughs> stepping back for so long? You know, he kind of guided his career, but he really didn't give him the financial backing. You talking about man, Romeo, just now a millionaire, bro. Yeah, he just now <laughs> getting that bad. I got a couple questions on that. So he's just now a millionaire, right? Now he have a financial company. Just okay. not a millionaire. So what is his credit? Why in the heck is who can he really promote with just a million dollars? He can, no, no, no million he put he put dollars. he put two million dollars into the company. Okay. You know, he has a net worth of five million dollars. Five know? million dollars. So man. the two million with his loan company, he figured he's gonna triple that two million dollars. Putting out these loans and taxes. If he give out a hundred loans in a hundred days, like how much money is that? Hold on, he ain't gonna be able to yeah. give out a hundred loans in a hundred days. What up? If what he up? has two million dollars in funding, he yeah. has the money. What kind of house you gonna buy with two million? It don't. It don't. You only gonna buy two houses? No, it's not about the houses, bro. It's about him giving out loans so other people can get a house. You know what I'm saying? And the house is not going to be too many dollars. They're going to be regular people like me. Listen to what I'm buying saying, a house. Though. Listen to what I'm you saying, know? though. It's, it's bigger than that, though. What you mean? It's bigger than that, For bro. who? For Romeo and the money that far as loans. And you're talking about just a couple million dollars. A couple million dollars don't really finance no big community. A couple million dollars only buy one house. Listen. You can, the loan company that I fuck with, they probably they only got a couple million dollars. Once you have a loan company, you can charge interest on thousands of so people. So who, who you helping? You know what I'm saying? Who you helping? You saying he not helping nobody? No, you're helping yourself. But he's still giving black loans. Just man, like these come PP on, man. loans. Come on. He said, come on. You only a got loan two is a loan. You That's helping got, black but you community. You only got two million, but really. It don't matter. That's you, enough money to start it's a company. Big, it's a, it, you know what? That's no plenty way. of money Listen, to start I'm a company. Telling you, though, you got Romeo, who only have $2 million net, as $5 million asset, net value. You got $5 million. What the fuck can you do for me? You give can you tell, a loan, okay. a ten thousand dollar loan. Okay, you can give me a ten thousand. How many people out of two million point two? What ten thousand dollars gonna buy you? <sighs> a lot of shit, man. What to Just do stop what? Acting like it ain't no money for somebody who ain't got no money in businesses. And stuff but a house, bro. You saying financial loan as far as housing? Housing, business. What ten thousand dollars gonna buy you with housing, bro? That's the start. You get a start. That's your down payment. What are you, your down payment? Too? You pay then him. Gonna, you you gonna pay him ten thousand? Or if, you gonna, if, you if, gonna, if you I can't get it from nowhere else? So you gonna so you gonna go ahead and get oh, you? Is another financial company? Say for instance, okay, we are gonna put in this scenario before we jump too far in it. If I go to another financial company and I apply like at Chase Bank to get a home loan. I'm going to end up going to you to get that money that I need for that first initial down payment. But most likely Chase ain't giving me no loan and that's why we're going to Romeo because Chase ain't going to give us no loan. He's making it where people can get a loan for affordable without all that credit shit to help 
them start their business so or he, get a house. So he's financing the He's the a credit. financial credit. He's financing the credit. Right. He's not financing financing the, the funds. No. He's financing the, the credit. The credit, the money, the loan, the down payment, 10000 And 10, how much percentage out he want out of that? 2%. 2%. Yeah. So, you know, you get a 1,000 clients in a year, you know, how much But he's just not that? a millionaire, dog. You come because from no limit. Master P didn't want him carrying him. He said he got to get it on his own. You got to hustle. You got to work for it in the order to get this money. Two you million know? dollars is long. Even a movie. Hold on. Let's clarify this. He has this. five million dollars. Five million. Let's clarify this, though. Right? What blockbuster movie has he been in? He's been in on Nickelodeon shows. Movies? Them low budget movies. He ain't getting more than 200, 200,000 for that. You know, and what else after that? He really have in love and hip hop, you know. Bro. So, Master P finally, man, you know what I'm bro, saying? Five million dollars, man. And you've been in the game this long. You have resources. You have connections. You have your name. You telling me you have your brand. You telling me that five million dollars. That I just don't feel that. I just don't feel. You don't I feel think like, he, you think he should have made way more in his career? So that's what you were basically saying? He should have Who's his more. manager? Man, Master P started off as his manager, then he was with the white dude. So why and why he break off with Master P? I don't know. You got to ask Romeo. Because that don't make sense, man. How he just now becoming a millionaire, bro? What blockbuster movie has he been in? He that, been that, in enough to regenerate the that funds. The Loki movie don't, doesn't matter. You yeah, give a man matter. Man, bro. You what show, big contract has bro, he had? Any endorsements? Any contracts? I, you give a motherfucker <laughs> a line to fish. And that's Bam. what Master P did. He put him in the movies. He got made an album for him. He did teach him how to fish, and now he's finally a millionaire. He so taught he, him how he to finally, fish. don't say a millionaire is like as if he accomplished something. He did. Everybody what? can accomplish that. We're behind he, a man who how was many a, niggas was a from back then when he came out with a billionaire? How, how, how many, many people, people from, from back, back billion then with Romeo? Came out have five million. You got a billion dollars. dollar resource. I bet you Bow Wow don't even got five million dollars. Who? Bow Wow, and they came out at the same time. He had bad management. And his his mom was terrible. his manager. Yeah, and exactly. But they the My same age, exactly. but he don't got no five million dollars. So I'm telling y'all this: if don't let your parents be your manager. <laughs> if you. <laughs> And you up here. Bow Wow manager was his yeah. mom, and Romeo manager was his. Don't manager. let your parents, your parents be your manager. <clears throat> let your parents be your advisors, but not your managers. Yeah, I would have to break away from my parents because the business and family is always real sticky. Don't let you your know? parents be your manager, and they always try to guide if you. Just tell you what to do with your a billion, Don't let yeah. your. your I know, I'm an old mystical. So, Mr. did mystical be, become a millionaire? He sold a lot. Nah, man. He spent all his money on his case and went yeah, to prison. All his cases. He broke. Did Snoop? Snoop was broke for a long time until Master P gave him money. Snoop Dogg said he didn't have no money until he got he with did. Master right. P. He and gave him a million okay. dollars. You know? He gave so, him how much? A million. So, you telling me <laughs> give Romeo a billion? <laughs> <laughs> Would you That's give him a million brother. for that album that he made? That's my son. No, but I, I would have generated enough a million dollars, so at least two time million. Has. But what could he do after his time with him and Bow Wow? They time been fizzled out on the music too. You know, when the box, he got these noodles, these <laughs> potato Let chips. Let him promote it. Hey. Now, man, he shot at least 10 million by now. <laughs> <laughs> with noodles and potato chips? <laughs> hey, you said the same thing that I'm thinking, though. Like, come on, like, come Master on, P. Like, you can, that was kind of stingy of this Master <laughs> P. Now that we think about this shit, man. You should have been put Little Romeo on, man. You put him on Love and Hip Hop, man. That's not no money, Love and Hip Hop, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, bro. Hey, that's a, that, hey, that's where I'm... You know you come to my conclusion, like... Wow. Are you serious? He just now becoming a billionaire? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, not, shit. What the no. hell? Damn. Y'all comment below, man. Let us know what y'all think about this Afro tech. <laughs> Sound like a bad baby. investment to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a bad investment to me, man. Damn. Damn. But let us know, man. For real, though. Let us know, man. We got to move on, man. All right, man. Y'all recently know. 
that OnlyFans has been shut down with the nudity part, you know. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of chicks on there making mad making bread. That, that chip. You know, being that naked, chip. shaking their ass. Oh, getting a hundred dollars per picture by oh, showing their feet. Oh, you know wait. what I'm saying? Chip, showing their tits. Chip, ahoy. Uh, so now he shut it down and a lot of strippers has lost a job. So your main man, Tiger from Cash Money, decides he's gonna make his own platform called My Star. You know, he said it's gonna be just like OnlyFans. You can bring the nudity to his. And he get how much? 10% of the revenue. Okay. You know, so since that's gonna be shut that's down. That's something better than Romeo shit though. He said he's taking his <laughs> 5 million followers to my star opening his own platform. And what's Ticket Net worth? Five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> He's done all his money to this. He's risking it all for this. My star platform. <laughs> but if there's no space for that, he's gonna kill But he, he got the right direction though. Yeah. Yeah. He got the right direction. But how long did hey, 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 Romeo? Have? Look, it doesn't what matter. Was that one year, two years? It doesn't matter. It, it don't matter. It generated enough revenue compared to financial. You think you gonna make five million back? Hell yeah! Shit, he, I was born to be surprised. One year, in six months. Yeah, because everybody months. gonna flood to his shit. Six months. They gonna flood right to six him, man. months. But yet yeah, it's still what Bob Wall, what uh, Romeo doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't they come out at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Bob Wall and Romeo did. No, but this Tiger, Tiger. Tiger. No, he came, came on, on later. two thousand and uh, he came on way later. He came on like two thousand and what? Ten. Yeah, around two thousand and ten. Nine. Because they had that Bed Rock show. Yeah, ten yeah. was ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yet yeah, it's still. So you talking about how much he had? Five million. And he came out. When 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 a Romeo come out? Uh, ninety nine. <laughs> oh, yo, dude, you dare say no die? Ninety nine. Don't you come out with no dies. Ninety nine. <laughs> Don't say no nines. Yeah, remember? Don't say no nines. No, remember came out ninety nine. And who was Ticket? Ticket didn't have no uh, masterpiece. As his daddy. No, baby was his daddy. <laughs> but yet, still, he broke away from, be from baby. Yeah, he had to give him all his money. Yeah. That's why he only got five million dollars. You know, but y'all, man, let us know what y'all think about. That um, is crazy. Tiger, you know, from Cash Money starting doing his my star platform, just like OnlyFans. I feel that he can make a lot of money yeah, doing he this because it's an open market it's right a now. No market, brand new market for Hugh him. Hefner of the internet. No yeah. more Playboy magazine. <laughs> it's fans. What is Only, it? Uh, my star fans. My star fans. So you know. do your stock investments. Go ahead and get that boy a couple of dollars. Come in early. <laughs> oh, they gonna they gonna give him a lot of money. That ten percent go add up. On man, they gonna videos. get that. They gonna get that chicken. Oh, man. That chicken chase. Boy, that is that crazy. Chase. All right, y'all, man. We gotta move on, man. Yo, yesterday Drake took to Twitter, and he said that he reached out to the alchemist. And he said he's gonna get 17 beats in one of uh, the Alchemist to produce his new sound, his new album. So, well, uh, man, I'm thinking he wanna go the hard route and wanna prove that he got some Lyrics. bars right now, lyrically. Because he did all the commercial dancing, he did all them songs, he got that sold up. But he wanna get some respect now, I believe. You know, put some respect on my name. He can't do it by niggas, right? He better not bite on no shit like this. Not on no Alchemist beat. <laughs> like, give me my beat back, man. No, man. Alchemist gonna do it for the paper, though, because he know yeah, he ain't got no money right now. Yeah, he gonna do it for the chicken chase. Yeah, because they tweeted, because they asked Alchemist, did, he, did you send the beats? And he was like, yeah, I sent it to him. I'm ready to work. You know, so he want, and Drake got a bag, so you gonna charge him Drake. You know? He just want percentage off the sales. He no, he he's, want, he's gonna get upfront money. No, you know, no. you're gonna get paid for he, the beats. He want a percentage he's not gonna get no percentage of the sales. He want, he want he's not getting that. He's not getting that. He's gonna get paid for his beats. That's it. And if you produce some songs, them two credits he's gonna get. You know, you get that EP credit, man. It's the only way he can get paid off it. That's only about three cents. You know, three cents off of, uh, every stream. Every stream, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But um. 
But how do you feel about this album, though, man? You think it'll be? Dope? I don't know if he, he got the bars to keep up with the Alchemist. Be if he Alchemist giving him some hot beats. But think shit. about the songs he did like nonstop. You know what I'm saying? Like when he rap on them type of beats, that's like almost an Alchemist beat. You know? Alchemist beat is New York type of. That's what the no the, the no stop shit sounded like, man. I, I guess. Like um. Sometimes when he remember all the mixtapes he did with Wayne, man, when he was rapping off of New York shit. No, he could He didn't sound like. He didn't sound good to you. He sounded all right, but I heard a lot of artists that sound better on them tracks. So you think it's gonna be a trash album? I ain't gonna say it's gonna be a trash album. Mm-hmm. It's gonna sell. I'm mm-hmm. saying it's gonna sell. I'm saying it's gonna sell. Cause Drake on it. His name alone. Oh yeah, it's gonna sell. I just want to know how it's gonna sound. It's gonna sound good. But I think it's not have, I think it'd be fire, man. I think it, everybody hate on Drake a lot. It? I don't know. I have how to many, hear how it. Blaze, how many fire blazes you give it? I don't know. I gotta hear it. No, but before I can't it. predict before. Why? Because sometimes you predict some. You shit heard that? You heard back. the producer before, and you heard. I don't the know what he got before. now. I heard the old Alchemist. I don't know what he has now. I don't know if he gonna cater to a style or not, but. I'm saying it could be a good album or it could be a flop. I don't know. We, it ain't gonna be no flop. We gonna give the the it flames no when it come out. I'm talking about he wanted to be street. If you're going after the alchemist, you're going street now. You know what I'm saying? So it could flop. You know that's all I'm saying. They're making that. a street in Canada, so <laughs> for that nigga. Man. Yeah. But he ain't play. He got mob ties. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like a hard beat. You know, that ain't no club shit right there. But y'all Mom comment died. below, man. Let us know what y'all think about Drake working with the Alchemist. Is it a good idea? Tell us how you think he would sound, you know, and how, about this album. Man. But we got to move on to sports news, man. In sports Illustrated, it revealed that Ray Allen and Bonzi Wells are now mm. coaches. Ray Allen, um, Jesus, Jesus, Bro- um, Jesus Shuttleworth. Florida Prep, a community college in uh, Bonzi Wells, South Memphis, another small South school. South Memphis. Yeah, that's a little small school. The Dolph should go ahead and invest <laughs> a couple money down, a couple dollars in I wonder Bonzi. if they good, though. Yeah, I doubt it. But but my thing with these... So, but... Like, hold, but, on, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. But ain't uh, Penny say, Hardaway in, in Memphis, though? University yeah. of Memphis? Yeah. So but I was going to say... with Penny? But no, I was going to say the black coaches, I'm glad... These schools are hiring former NBA coaches. You know, instead of hiring a white dude who never played basketball, who don't know shit about basketball. Ray Allen and Bonzi Wells know basketball. Ray and just Allen, like Penny Ray Holloway. Allen, Ray, Ray you know, Allen should have went to a bigger university. Uh, stepping stone. Stepping no, stone. No, 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 no. And nobody, if you're going to get offered, I mean, let me work well, somewhere. That's his first, first well, so, so, job? Yeah. Because so, Penny okay. Hardaway started at the In middle high school. school. Yeah, middle school. And then went to the high school, then went to the college. Yeah. You know, so it's a good stepping stone for the guy. But my point is, yeah, I like that step. they're um, hiring black old basketball players, man. You know? Jesus uh, Shuttleworth. I mean, Ray Allen has the ability to, to develop you know how the game. Shoot, he gonna be like, Ews. No, he going to be like, he going to tell you how to shoot I mean, that because ball. Because he, he was the main voice in Miami. Yeah, in Boston. Was a, because it was the vet. A lot of people. In Milwaukee. Remember no. when he came out yeah. in Milwaukee? Oh, oh in <laughs> Seattle is where he really climbed out. Man, he was clowning. He was a rookie. Yeah. yeah. His rookie is here in Seattle. Or did he get traded to Seattle? Or did, did he get traded to Milwaukee? No. He started out. Uh, it was in Seattle. Then he went to Milwaukee when Seattle had uh, lost their franchise. He got traded. But, um, but the thing is, the guy is a very good, he was a vocal, like you said, Milwaukee, Seattle. Like, he was a vocal Man, leader. Man, Supersonics, where he know? clapped out him. And everywhere him, he went, he him, really him and Ray Lewis, him and Ray Lewis with them, them shooters. Right. They wanted, that's when they won a three-point contest. Him and Ray Lewis got into the three-point contest when he was in, in Seattle. Yeah, Ray Lewis won. I mean, Ray Allen won that thing. Yeah, he, he won, won that thing in, in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Well. He was a clapper then. He always could shoot that ball. But I'm then proud. Then he got traded to Boston. I'm proud. Milwaukee. Then Milwaukee, Milwaukee to Boston. From Boston to Miami. Yeah. And that's where he, he ended his career. 
Yeah, but shout out to you, Ray Allen and Bonzi Wells for getting this coaching job, man. We we like to see brothers doing yeah, good things, do. man. We need more y'all to be in the NBA coaching. You know, give them a shot because they know basketball. No, that been all they shit all they like. Know how to shoot. <laughs> I just won a three-point contest a couple days ago mm -hmm. at the uh, carnival. <laughs> so I'm a shooter. <laughs> shooting up. I still shoot. Y'all know what it is. It's that guy again. All right, man. On to the shout-outs, man. Well, if you want to give anybody a shout-out. To my city. To my city. Shout-outs to Gun Roo City. Make sure y'all stream Gun Roo's Finest, The Movement, Part, Part three. 3, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, Amazon. All the streaming sites. Make sure y'all do that right now, now, today. And also make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. It helps us out tremendously. Hit that like button. We out of here. One love. Peace. Peace. <laughs>